Well, summertime is here and the warmer temperatures come with the potential for a hotter running engine. So today we'll take a look at thermostats and how it's the start of managing your cooling system. So let's take a look. So one common problem is either wrong thermostat temperature selection or worse, not running one well at all. But does the thermostat open at the temperature it's rated? And are the cheap thermostats you buy at the auto parts store as good as the performance options that are out there on the market? Well, that's what we're going to test today is what the actual opening is on these thermostats, depending on how they're rated. So let's first quickly talk about not running a thermostat at all, because I want to get that out of the way, especially on a streetcar. That's what we're going to concentrate is just a streetcar. On a carbureted engine, it may sound like a good idea because less heat means less problems, right? Well, not so much. I mean, a, a carburetor is an analog piece. You have to set it. Then you have to live with the decisions that you've made. And if you want to go back and change them, you can do that. But the engine is going to run the way it's set. There's no really way to regulate how much fuel to give it based on temperature. Now, if you've made the move to an EFI setup, whether it's a throttle body or a manifold port style EFI setup, the computer reads the temperature of the engine to help it determine how much fuel to give it. Now, in both instances, a colder running engine or a cooler running engine tends to run richer. And an engine that's at good operating temperature tends to run the best as the warm engine kind of gives the fuel and air more time to atomize on the way to the, to the combustion chamber and when it gets in there. And for sure, the, t the temperature in the combustion chamber, as it's getting there, the warmer it is, the more it get time it gives it to vaporize the fuel. So the more vaporized the fuel, the better the combustion vent, the more power you're going to make. All big considerations to make there. So running a no thermostat in there, what that does is it tends to spike the, the, the temperature of it. It doesn't regulate it the way it should, where a thermostat will open and close slightly as is needed to. If the engine starts running a little cooler, then it will shut the thermostat or close the thermostat down a little bit. If it's running really hot, it'll open it up all the way, let the full flow of the system take effect. So in in the I've seen it a number of times and obviously I've run a street car with no thermostat and I've always wondered why I could never keep the temperature regulated right and that's part of it. The, the thermostat is the gatekeeper to the entire cooling system and that's what we're going to look at today is if you are trying to get the thermostat to open closer to a certain temperature are the ones you buy on the shelf do they open at that rate so that's what we're going to take a look at today. Now, I've got three different thermostats here. Uh, two of them are off the shelf at just a local auto parts store. The one is made by Edelbrock and is supposed to be a little bit better quality thermostat. I don't recall the price on all these, uh, especially not the Edelbrock. The, uh, the ones from the auto, local auto parts store were very inexpensive. They were seven, eight bucks a piece, something like that. But the question is, is if it's rated at 160 degrees or at 205 degrees, like one of these is, is that the exact temperature it opens? Now, why is that important? If you have a uh, an engine that tends to run a little hotter because you've got uh, a little bit more aggressive uh, compression ratio, uh, you've got you know a little bit hotter camshaft, and you've got a carburetor or an EFI system that tends to run a little leaner, whatever the case may be, that's that's causing you to need to start to open the event earlier. Or if you live in a hot environment, obviously living here in the mid South, that's kind of a, you know, it gets hot here in the summertime, obviously. So if you've made the decision that you want the cooling system to start regulating itself at 160 degrees and you buy a 160 degree thermostat, does, is that the point it opens up? Does it open up earlier? Does it open up later? And this is a simple, easy test you can do at home to determine if that thermostat is going to open at the temperature it does, or you're asking it to. And if it doesn't, you can either adjust by a different thermostat or plan on the cooling system opening at the temperature that the thermostat is telling you it's going to open. So we're going to test all three of these and see exactly when they open and see if the rating on the thermostat matches actually when it op physically opens up. And when I mean open up, I mean at its full rating, if it's a 160 degree 
thermostat, then it has to open all the way up at 160 degrees. First up is a 160 degree thermostat. So what I did is I've got a little jar of water here that we're going to heat up to 160 degrees. Got to have a temperature gauge because I want to try to maintain it and hold it that. And then we're going to put the thermostat in there and see how long it takes it to open up. And does it open at that temperature or do we need to add some more heat to get it to open uh, and open up all the way. So be careful here. You're working with hot water. You're working with electricity. So certainly if you're going to do this at home, be safe. It's not that complicated, but uh, take any precautions you need to so you don't burn the crap out of yourself. So once we get up to 160 degrees, we're going to gently lower this into the water and see if it opens up at that temperature or again, if we need to add some more heat to it. So let's take a look. Next up is a 205 degree rated thermostat and we'll run it through the test. Two ten and not open. Really open. Nope. And last is this performance thermostat by Edelbrock. It's rated at 160 degrees, and now we'll run it through. Now, when we look at the results of all these, they are a little surprising to me. I guess what I'm most surprised at is that the temperature that these actually start to open is much higher than what they are rated for. Now, 
if it's a couple of degrees, maybe less than five degrees, if it's a 160 degree thermostat and it opens at 165, I don't think you're going to notice anything on that, especially on the tuning process, probably not on the EFI side as well either. However, when it is more than five degrees, I guess I kind of question a little bit of, of, you know, how the thermostats are rated and why they are not opening at the, at the point that they are rated at. So again, if it was just a couple of degrees, no big deal. But the 165 or the 160 rated stuff uh, on these auto parts store ones certainly opened much hotter, almost at 180 degrees. Now, if I wanted a 180 degree thermostat, I would buy a 180 degree thermostat. These coming in at about 174, 175, I think is when I determined when they actually opened up then that's one thing, but that would put us within that five closer to the, to the 180. But I guess that, that to me is concerning. If you're counting on it to, to kick open at, at that 175, if you have electric fans on the car that has a temperature sensor in it that you want to kick open at 160 and now it drags on and, and the thermostat doesn't open up, well, you could run into some, some, you know, peaks and valleys in how the engine's cooling, and that's not a good thing. So I guess the lesson to learn here is always when you buy a thermostat, always drop it in some water, take a good temperature reading of it, and find out exactly when it opens. That way you'll know when it's going to open within the engine, and you can kind of plan around it from there. So this is one of those instances where, Yes, it's a little disappointing that it didn't open exactly at, at 160. It didn't open exactly at 205. But if I know that it opens a little hotter, I can plan on that. The other side of that is we only tested the one by Edelbrock here. So I don't know if that makes any difference when you talk about other performance type thermostats. But it was a little bit better in the result. It opened a little bit closer. And I don't know if that's just because it's a higher quality. You pay a little bit more money for it, whatever. But it is certainly something to take into consideration. So anyway, I hope it gave you a little bit of insight on it. Don't sleep on this thing. The thermostat is certainly what you need to help keep everything, you know, in your engine running cool. And it's certainly, like I said, it's the gatekeeper to your cooling system. It controls how the, how the coolant flows through there. So certainly, you know, knowing where it's actually going to open that based on what it's rated at is a really good thing to know. So if you have any questions about this test, if you have any questions about thermostats, please drop them down below. We'll probably do a more comprehensive cooling system video at some point in time where we talk about the entire system and kind of debunk some of the, you know, the, the two core or the two row, four row, whatever type of stuff. But for now, I want to concentrate on thermostats and it's a really good place to start. So anyway, I hope you got something out of the video. If you did, please leave me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, I always appreciate that. And we will catch you on the next video. We'll see you.